Good Monday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Tim Pandages here with your Atlantic Tropical Update. We're still talking about Hurricane Larry. Not much change in that system the past few days. An Invest 91L here on this September 6th, Labor Day 2021. Let's start off with Larry. Still a Category 3 major hurricane. Has kind of plateaued in strength over the last couple of days. We just got recon aircraft into the system earlier today, verifying and validating what satellite estimates have been saying all along. Category 3, winds of 120 miles per hour, and the pressure's in the 950. So pretty interesting to see that get verified there from recon aircraft. Again, sustained at a Category 3 major hurricane. Overall, not much has changed with this system. There is some dry air looking just off towards the west that may get entrained if this goes through another eye wall replacement cycle. It's already gone through three. And as it moves to the north and west, it'll eventually, I mean, a long ways out, encounter some slightly cooler ocean waters and weaken. This will likely be well north of Bermuda, so not for a while. The big feature of this system is its large eye, 84 miles in diameter across. Typically, 20 to 40 miles is what we find in an average hurricane out in the Atlantic. So this is a large eye, and with each eye wall replacement cycle, we see this get a little bit bigger. Uh, yesterday, it was around 70 miles in diameter. It's overall wind speed estimates. You're getting hurricane force winds now extending out about 60 miles from the center. Yesterday, it was 40, so the wind field is expanding, and that's expected as it gains latitude and heads towards the north. Changes in the overall track, not much, still passing to the east of Bermuda, likely seeing minimal impacts from it. However, even though it's well out to sea, the east coast of the United States will be dealing with excessive surf. We're talking wave heights 10, 12, 14 feet just offshore, coastal erosion, rip current risk, all the beaches along the east coast right through this upcoming week. Now we do have Invest 91L still out there in the Gulf of Mexico. And there's not much to it here, which is why any development in the next two days, 0% chance of that. Slightly higher within the next five as it moves towards the Big Bend area of Florida. And we're not talking a full-fledged tropical storm or hurricane here by that point. But as it moves over Florida, exits off the southeast coast of the U.S., conditions there might be just a little bit more favorable. We may see it spin up briefly before it heads into the open Atlantic. Here's how it looks now on the infrared satellite imagery. Not much to it. Looks just like a broad tropical wave, which is what it is. There's no center of circulation here, which is why the models are still all over the place. Kind of just like a bowl of spaghetti here down to the south in the Bay of Campeche there. If it does build due north, there's very warm waters here in the western Gulf of Mexico, undisturbed by any tropical activity thus far this season. But some of the models, at least a few of them, do drift this off to the north, northeast headed in that same general direction towards the Big Bend of Florida. Again, I'm not expecting huge impacts, maybe some heavy rainfall here, some rougher surf if it does start to develop, but really it's on the other side of Florida and the southeast coastline that we'll see that likely maybe develop into something a little bit more. Now there's a front strewn across the area here in the northern Gulf Coast, and that is going to help to enhance some rainfall from this tropical wave as it builds north and also shunt it off to the east and northeast. So storm tally so far, through September 6th, I like to compare the seasons and see where we were in past seasons. We'll go through the last four here all the way through 2017. Each of these seasons were extremely active, but up through this point, we've got 12 named storms, five hurricanes, three majors. Most majors out of the last five seasons right now in 2021. However, 2020 still holds those records for 15 named storms already at this point. Five of them were hurricanes, only one turned major. And in 2019, same one major, same in 2018. 2017, we had two majors by this point with 10 named storms and four hurricanes. All right, that's the latest. Not a huge update today. Not much has changed out in the tropical Atlantic, even though we're less than a week out from the peak of the season. Eerily quiet, but anything starting to develop out there, we need to watch carefully. As this time of the year, all the conditions are pretty conducive for development. Anything changes, we'll bring it to you. But until next time, Twitter. Instagram and on Facebook if you have any questions. David Paul, up later tonight.